what's up I'm Jess and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you guys how to get this smoked out wing liner a soft and simple look but super easy so if you guys want to see how to get this look keep on watching so I already have my eyebrows done so I'm gonna start by priming my lids I don't really have a drugstore favorite right now but you can always use a concealer I'm gonna take the LA girl Faux concealer in pure beige and I'm going to apply it with a MAC 239 brush. What you're going to do is you're just going to pat that on to the entire lid. And this just really helps conceal any darkness that you might have and also is perfect for making sure that your eyeshadow sets, their eyeshadow sets, so your eyeshadow stays on all day. So since this is a drugstore look, I'm going to take two drugstore palettes. I'm going to use the NYX Natural Eyeshadow Palette and the Maybelline Nudes Palette. So now that I have set the primer on my eye, we're going to go ahead and set the concealer. You want to use an eyeshadow that's very similar to the primer that you used or to your skin tone. I'm going to take this third color, kind of like a skin tone. This is a small flat brush and I'm going to tap the product onto my lid. And you can honestly like barely, barely see that there's any eyeshadow going on. But it's smoothing out any creases that I have on my lid and just evening out the tone of my eyelid. Next, I'm going to take this fifth color. It's kind of has a little bit of shimmer, but it's more of like a muted brown color. And I'm going to use the Morphe M503, just like any blending brush will do. But this one is not as silvery, it's more dense um, on the dome of the brush. I'm going to apply that all on my lid into the crease. It's like super, super soft. So I just kind of want to create some definition on my lid up into my crease. Super soft look. So now comes for the fun part. So for the wing, I'm going to put about three different eyeshadow colors. I'm going to start with a light brown color. That way, if I mess up or I don't like the shape that I create, I can always go back. I'm going to be starting off using a Sigma E 65 small angle brush. And I'm going to be using the NYX contour palette and the fourth color. I'm going to start on the outer part of my eye and create a shape inward. And I'm just doing really, really small sections, tapping the product on. It's okay to not be fully on the lash line because you want to see the separation in color and it kind of like doing the ombre effect. And then when I get to the outer part of the eye, I'm going to kind of flip the brush this way and flick it out. I'm kind of using my outer brow as a guide. I mean, the tip of the brow as a guide. And then I'm gonna connect the outer part to kind of like right about there. And then you can always pull your eye kind of hard from this angle, but pull your eye out a little bit, taunt, and then you can get a little bit of better grip on your line. So next, I'm gonna go in with a smaller angle brush and I'm gonna use the Morphe M160 and I'm gonna take the darkest color in the natural palette. And I'm gonna try to get as close to the lash line as possible and do the same steps, like starting from the outside, inward. And then on the inner part of the eye, from the inner corner to about the middle, since I wanna get really close, I'm just gonna basically push the product onto my lash line. So we're gonna take a jaw liner, the Maybelline Eye Studio in Black is Black. <laughs> My allergies are playing me so hard. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the Morphe. <laughs> I'm trying really hard. M217 brush to apply it. What makes it a little bit easier is pulling the eye out. The eye. Oh yeah, I guess, pulling your eye back. You get a little bit more control by having your skin a little bit tighter. And then start lighting right on your lash line. Guys, watch me going so slow. Soft baby strokes. So I'm gonna take this dark brown color and the same Morphe M160 brush. You're kind of going on the gel line and the brown and then just blending. The colors here blending is key so the softer you want the wing to look the more you need to blend and the reason why I'm doing this brown color is because 
Since I had this eye done already, I wanted the colors to match, but the first brown that I put ended up being too light than what I envisioned. So I probably would just have started using this dark brown color because the other one had a lot more red tones in it, and I didn't really like that. And then I'm gonna take the black color in the palette and blend it out even more. Just basically softening the edge. This kind of takes a while to do. The fallout's really annoying me, so I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and clean up. What you wanna be mindful of is when you're cleaning up your wing. Just being very careful, so I always kinda try to put like my nail into my makeup wipe. It's kinda a little trick I use, just to kinda have a little bit more control, get right under the line. Get it really clean. Now I'm gonna apply some coats of mascara. I got this at Generation Beauty. It's the Essence I Love Extreme Crazily. Crazy Volume Mascara, and it really, just with a couple coats, it's really black, and it lengthens and really volumizes the lashes, so I just, find a little bit. I did already have some mascara on from earlier today. I was too lazy to take it off, and then while that dries, I'm gonna show you guys the lashes I'm gonna be using today. It's the Ardell Glamour Lashes. This is what really brings the eye look together. Eyelashes are everything. They can make or break your look. So before I apply my lashes, I'm just gonna curl them. See, like, look at that crazy volume. It's freaking dope. And then please hold while I got my falsies. Okay, so now that my falsies are on, I'm just gonna go back and touch up the line just to make sure that it's still even. So I'm just gonna go back and kind of pop on some product. Oh, I'm using the black eyeshadow. Okay, tapping that on. Okay, so now we're gonna highlight the brow bone here. And I'm gonna use this matte shadow from the natural palette and a pointed crease brush, just a little pointed brush. Apply it here. Just give the eye more dimension. Now I'm gonna apply some primer onto my face. Oh, and I use the Manuka Doctor Flawless Primer. It has honey in it, so it's pretty cool. Start in the center of my face to fill in my pore, rubbing upward. As my grandma says, if you push down, your skin's gonna sag. And then for moisturizer, I'm gonna use a CeraVe moisturizing lotion. Get some onto my fingers, warm it up. Apply it to my face. And then I'm gonna use my dual fiber brush. Mila got to this one too. And blend it out into my skin. For foundation, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match in the color N3. And what I like to do instead of applying it with my finger, I take a flat synthetic brush. And I, I shake it first and then I put some foundation onto the brush. It sounds so weird. And then I just kind of dab it on to my face. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend that out. And I'm gonna fast forward that really quick because you guys know how to blend out foundation. I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in color sand number 20. I'm gonna apply it near my eyes. Bring it upward. Under my nose. Forehead. And then take a beauty blender to blend that out. Contour my face. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Contour Face Contouring Kit. And I'm gonna take a MAC 130 stippling brush. I kind of like to blend it out first on my hand because it's gonna come out really harsh. And I'm gonna kind of suck in my cheeks a little and apply it my cheekbone, which is like kind of like right where your ears are. And then I'm gonna blend that in circular motions going upward toward my hairline. And then I'm gonna dust that product right above, actually along my hairline, from the top of my ear to my forehead. So I'm gonna take a Sigma F35 brush and set my under eyes with this color. Now I'm gonna contour my nose using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Contour Brush and line the side of my nose and then blend the product downward. At the tip of my nose, I'm gonna draw a line and then a little circle to create a button nose. And lastly, I use a dry beauty blender to blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm gonna set my under eyes with Maybelline's Master Fix Loose Powder. Now I'm gonna use a beauty blender under my eyes because I want that area to be brightened and then also I wanna carve out my cheekbone so I'm gonna add a little bit of powder there. 
this highlight color and highlight my nose while that's setting. I'm using the e.l.f. concealer brush. Once I draw the line down on my nose, blend it out with my finger, and then place some product on the tip of my nose and blend it out with my finger. Now I'm gonna take a Sigma E35 brush and blend that out. Dust off any excess, pat it into my skin, dust it out. And I'm just gonna go through with my L'Oreal True Match in N2 and dust it out. Set my face. I'm going to line my waterline. I'm going to use a scandalized waterproof black liner. The formula is so creamy and I'm loving how dark it is. And then when I get to the inner part, I'm going to create this little like pointy section. Just really elongate and draw in the eye. I'm going to take the Sigma E65 brush and mix the dark brown and the black colors together. Starting with the brown. To soften the lower lash line. And you're pretty much like connecting the wee. Just kind of swooping that out all the way to the inner part. And now for some mascara, apply some blush. I'm gonna use a Morphe M405 blush brush. Squeeze in my cheeks again and apply it to the apples of my cheeks and sweep backwards. I'm going to use the highlight also in this palette. I'm going to use the Morphe M175 brush and apply it right onto the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm going to take a small fan brush. I don't know where this is from. And then dust it onto my lip. I just think this really makes your lip, lip, upper lip look a lot bigger because it accentuates it. Kind of brings your lips forward, I don't know. Then I'm going to set my face. Lastly, let's finish off with the lips. I'm gonna line my lips using the NYX Lip Pencil in Dolly Pink. And then I'm going to take the NYX Lipstick in Strawberry Milk. And I usually prefer a matte lip, but I wanted to pair it with this Butter Gloss, and the name of it is Eclair. So this is a finished look. This is my first talk through, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did a really soft and simple look. I always say this, but it's like sexy and sultry, but I think this look really is because like the lashes make it really girly and flirty. And then the wing is really simple, kind of if you don't have a lot of time to do a full eyeshadow look. I think that this is something that you can do because it's very effortless and it looks like you tried really hard. This is a perfect look to transition into spring, which is coming up in a couple weeks and I'm so excited. Um, anyways, if you guys like this look, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if any of you guys recreate a smoked out wing, make sure to hashtag blah about it on social media so you can check it out. And if you guys aren't following me on Snapchat, make sure you guys are following me. I'll put my, what is it called? My username right here or here wherever um make sure to follow me so you can check out behind the scenes and we can become friends and get to chatting on snapchat thanks so much for watching until next time bye guys